All right, everyone, how's it going? Famine 52 back again, and in today's episode, we're gonna customize some weapons. Let's get going. All right, guys, so welcome back. Uh, in the last episode, we did a little bit of stat maxing. Before that, we did a little bit of AP grinding and bribing. Um, and now that our stats are maxed, Everybody is completely maxed at 255 and uh, 9,999 health, 999 MP. Um, we need some weapons and armor. Uh, now, before anybody says anything, I know that there is in fact a break, uh, a break HP limit as well as a break MP limit. Uh, those are really not necessary at all. Um, let me see. Like, I could go ahead and equip this, and I have 16,720 HP right now. I could have a lot more if I decide to equip uh, or go through and switch up all of the HP. Whatchamacallits? Uh, nodes on this, on the sphere grid. Uh, but for our armor, um, and a little bit of knowledge of the game, you do not need more than 10,000. Uh, now, as for the armor that we're going to be using for our main attackers, uh, we're going to be doing the defense plus 20%, auto potion, auto protect, and auto haste. Um, now, this armor is why we don't need more than 10,000 HP. Uh, we already have 255 uh, defense. And then we put auto protect on top of that, which... I believe the way the math works out is auto protect automatically does uh, like I believe automatically halves the damage coming in and then defense plus 20% reduces that by another 20% so basically the way it works out we're taking about 75 to 80% less damage uh, than we would be by having normal armor on um, Auto Potion, because even though we are taking less damage, we are going to be going up against things that do a lot of damage when they attack us. Uh, so Auto Potion, once we get down to critical health, we'll just go ahead and pop an X Potion right there, bring us right back to full. And Auto Haste, because man, we gotta go fast. You know what I mean? Alright, now as for... Uh, the people that aren't really going to be attacking all that much um, I it's basically the same thing uh, really all they need is gonna be auto haste um, the other stuff doesn't really matter um, my defenders or whatever you want to call them my back line let's go with that is uh, Lulu Yuna and Riku but because I do use Riku and Kamari for that matter Sometimes as frontline, uh, I gave them the full armor that I normally give with the auto potion and stuff like that. Uh, but as for Yuna and Lulu, uh, we have the auto phoenix, defense plus 20%, the auto protect, and auto haste. Um, because auto haste is all that really matters, it's all we really need to do. And the rest of the three slots is completely at your discretion, whatever you want to do. Now, as for our weapons, I'm going to assume that there are a couple of weapons that you can't get. And uh, a couple of celestial weapons, I should say, that you can't get. Which, I'm going to assume that the difficult ones for you might be the World Champion, uh, the Colin Bulg, and... Um, the Onion Knight because dodging toward your lightning bolts can be kind of difficult if you don't fully have the pattern down in your head yet um, world champion can be a little difficult if you don't like blitzball or you're just not good at blitzball and if you don't want to wait on the RNG for the chocobo race uh, getting the ultimate weapon for Titus can be a little hard um, so I'm going, I'm going to make a couple of different, well actually I'm going to make two different ultimate weapons, or customized weapons, 
one for Titus that is going to be the exact same for Titus and Waka. And I'm also going to make one for Lulu. Second one I'm going to make is going to be for Lulu, and we are going to be using the same stuff on Lulu's uh, customized weapon as we are going to make one for Yuna. Now I know that Yuna's celestial weapon is not difficult to get. I know that. Um, but if you're trying to take out the Dark Magnus sister, sisters in a group, uh, having a customized weapon for Yuna is going to make that pretty good, uh, more feasible to do that as a group without using an Aeon. Uh, but so let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing. So for Titus and Waka, uh, what we're going to be doing, let's see, do I have any, do I have it made already? I do not. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going down to the bottom. We're going to be using 60 of our Dark Matters. We should have been getting quite a bit of these while uh, going through the Monster Arena and doing all of our stat maxing. So we should have gotten quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and put Break Damage Limit onto a weapon for him. Next up, what we're going to do is we are going to put on Evade Encounter using one Teleport Sphere. If you need any Teleport Spheres, go ahead and fight uh, the Mushroom in the Monster Arena. He gives you two for overkills. And at this point, you can kill him in one hit. Next, what we are going to do, we're going to go ahead and give ourselves Triple Overdrive with a 30 winning formula. Shouldn't need to tell you how to get that. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to give ourselves strength plus 20%. Now, against most fiends in the game, this isn't really going to matter all that much. Um, but it's going to help us cut through a few of like the Dark Aeons, uh, auto-protect a little bit. And uh, do just that little tiny bit more damage if we're not able to get our Celestial Weapon. Of course, the Celestial Weapon is going to be our best option, but I am fully aware that racing that choke boat, playing blitz ball, and uh, dodging lightning bolts might be a little bit difficult. Uh, and if you are having difficulty getting Kamaris with those butterflies, if you just can't get the timing down right, uh, you could go ahead and, depending on how you want to use Kamari, give him the same thing, or you can give him what we're going to be giving uh, Yuna and Lulu. And uh, let's go ahead and go over that right now. Uh, what I'm going to be giving Yuna and Lulu is going to be this weapon right here, uh, which is Break Damage Limit, 1 MP Cost, Magic Booster, and Magic Plus 20%. Uh, so let's go ahead and head on down here to the Soul of Mog. Again, this is going to take 60 Dark Matters to get that Break Damage Limit on there. And then we are going to go ahead and do the... 1 MP cost uh, with a couple of 3 stars. Uh, you should have gotten quite a fair bit of 3 stars for unlocking various things in the monster arena. Uh, but if you need to find some more, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that here in a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and put the 1 MP cost on there. Next is going to be magic boosters uh, using 30 turbo ethers, which uh, is in my bribe guide. You, what you do is you bribe the various mushroom creatures for a lot of gill. Alright, and then next, magic plus 20%, and this takes four supreme gems, uh, which we should have unlocked quite a bit of these, again, just by going through a bunch of the various uh, unlocks and stuff like that. And there we go, there we have our custom weapon for uh, Titus. Lulu and Yuna, but as you can see, I do not have nearly enough dark matter for another weapon for Waka, and uh, there's a couple of different ways that we can go about uh, fixing that. First, let's go ahead and save the game because we have made some changes that are pretty extreme. Uh, so first thing we can do, we can go ahead and talk to this guy and fight these guys down here. Um, and hope that we get the rare drop, hope that we get enough of the rare drops to get enough dark matters from either the Species Conquest, the Arena Conquest, or the original fiends. 
If you're going to go do it this way, I personally recommend doing it against either one eye or the bird because we can kill those guys in two hits. Or since we're here, we might as well try it against, uh, let's see. Who was it again? Uh, the Sleep Sprout, because that way you could at least uh, try to mug uh, to get... Actually, you don't even need to mug. You can just kill him, go ahead and get those, uh, those teleport spheres, and then there you go. You have your main encounter. Also, you could steal, you could mug from the one eye to get some blessed gems for the for the armor and stuff like that. Um, but I do not recommend doing it this way. Honestly, the best way to do this is going to be to go ahead and uh, fight some dark aeons. Um, let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and just do two speed here. Turn that one off. Um, but the problem is, is that most of the dark aeons disappear after you kill them. Uh, there are two uh, Dark Aeons in the game that that does not apply to. Uh, the first one is going to be in the Thunder Plains, and that is going to be Dark Ixion. And I have found that she mostly drops weapons uh, with, uh, with lightning on her stuff uh, to go with the Dark Matter that, that she drops. Uh, but we could also go down in here to the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. Uh, to fight Yojimbo. Now Yojimbo is cool because in order to actually defeat him fully, uh, why am I saving? In order to actually defeat him fully, you need to kill him five times in a row. And uh, those are five separate battles and each one of them is in a different location. Like the fifth battle is right here. The fourth battle is going to be up here in this little cavern right here. The third battle is actually in this little offshoot right here where this chest was. The second battle is up here at this uh, crossroad right here. And then the first battle is actually down here in this main room uh, right where you, uh, right where we obtain Yojimbo. Now, there is something about doing it this way that you need to understand. That is that Yojimbo always, no matter what, in this first battle, will always ambush you. There's nothing you, you can do to stop that. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and set up our party for a battle against Yojimbo real quick. Uh, so I got Titus, Riku, and Waka. None of their current equipment like none of their celestial weapons actually has anything to prevent us from getting uh, ambushed uh, but if we go ahead and go to Riku here and what am I looking for I'm looking for something that she doesn't have so let's go ahead and customize something for her all the way down here on the bottom is her stuff flexible arm let's go ahead and give her first strike using one return sphere that way she's always uh, moving first in battle uh, and initiative doesn't matter to give her initiative but because that fight's always gonna ambush us but I just like putting it on there just to be safe and really that's all she needs uh, once we start the battle we can go ahead and switch over to what's it called switch over to our god hand and take care of the rest from there uh, but let's go ahead and equip her with that right now the Vanguard and let's go ahead and head up into here and you know what while we're here let's go ahead and talk to uh, Yojimbo shall we see if he has anything to say to us
I am coming back in here and talking to Yojimbo. He gives us a strength sphere. Not that we need it. But now, let's go ahead and turn all this stuff off. Let's go ahead and walk on out of here, shall we? Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? It bugs me that this is that this guy doesn't talk to us. It just bugs me. Stay away from the summoner! You heathen! You're a bad man! And there he has Dark Yojimbo right there. And before we start out, let's just make sure everybody has uh, all of the right things on. Uh, let's go ahead and give you that. Very good, very good. And let's go ahead and see what's going on with the Yojimbo, shall we? Alright, now, like I said, uh, he always is going to ambush us at the beginning of the fight. But that is perfectly fine. Because uh, since we have Riku up here right now with a full overdrive, uh, we could go ahead and mix. But if we don't, if we didn't have a full overdrive, something that we could do is um, go ahead and give auto life to one of our party members, like Waka. Um, but since we do have a full overdrive, let's go ahead and mix something together. Let's go ahead and mix together a healing spring and an amulet. Assuming I have either of those. Which I should. Which is why it take a sec for me to find them, because I don't normally look for them. Actually, you know what? Let's go with a chocobo wing and a door to tomorrow. Because that is another way to make this. And I should have plenty of both of those. Oh, wait, there's the amulet. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, door to tomorrow. I have more. Hyper Mighty Guard! Now that gives us Auto Life, Protect, Shell, Haste, and Regen. And because uh, Titus naturally has that, uh, that what's it called, that counter attack on his weapon, that's why we just did that. Now Yojimbo here starts out with 1,600,000 hit points. And he is kind of hard to defeat. For where we are stat-wise right now, shouldn't really be an issue. Uh, but if you're coming here a little bit earlier, probably might be. Uh, we can steal some stamina tonic from him. But the way we want to defeat him is actually using Waka and Waka's attack reels. And it is worth noting that the attack plus 20% on the weapon uh, does not contribute towards uh, overdrive damage. Just thought I would let you know that. Uh, let's go ahead and entrust our overdrive back on over to Waka real quick. Even though I have a feeling it would have normally loaded up here in a second anyway. Uh, and at this point, we just fight him normally and pray for the best. I forgot that Riku does not have on her... Oh, boy. Cool. He didn't shatter. Uh, it is worth noting that... Uh, that the dog over there... Is kind of a dick. Um, he does not... Like, if you were to try to use... Um, what's it called? Sentinel or Provoke on Yojimbo. It does not affect the dog. And his attacks do naturally have... Um... What's it called? Petrification on them with a high chance to shatter. So, be ready to lose at least one of your party members to petrification in this fight. A uh, way around that, of course, is uh, either a ribbon if you happen to have one. I don't personally think ribbons are necessary in this game. Uh, but if you don't happen to have a ribbon, another thing that you can do is just put uh, stone, stone proof on your on your armor while you're fighting him and just go from there. Riku, I really need to give you your actual weapon. What am I doing? Alright, Riku. God hand, put it on. Mm. 
And this is going to kill someone. Of course it killed Titus, but that is okay. He had auto life on himself. And we got the uh, full overdrive for Wonka, so let's go ahead and do another uh, attack reels. Overkill. And there we have our two Dark Matters, and we also got a Genji Bracer, which is going to be something for uh, Aura, and I wonder what that one is. Genji Bracer, break HP limit. So there you go, this is also a way to go ahead and get uh, the break HP limit. I'm actually very surprised that it came with uh, three open slots. But yeah, there you go. If you decide you want to do break HP limit, you can go ahead and farm him from Dark Yojimbo. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and heal on up and head to that second battle. Uh, now after this, Yojimbo is not not going to be uh, really ambushing us at all. But it is a possibility, so if you want, you could put on that little ambush proof. What's it called? armor or weapon that was just made for Riku but as you can see we are good let's go ahead and just uh, mug Riku let's go ahead and have you do another hyper mighty guard for us I passed chocobo wing nope there it is chocobo wing and door to tomorrow Give us a nice tip top shake. And mug. Mug. Come on, buddy. Who are you going against? Really went against Titus. And he didn't even think I still have regular potions on me, so. Yeah, if I had thought to uh, to sell all of my potions and high potions, uh, we would have just used a X potion there instead of a regular potion. Let's go ahead and entrust all this over to uh, Waka, all this overdrive, so that he can, of course, go ahead and do another attack reels. And it is worth noting that... Uh, Another tactic that we could do is uh, try to Grand Summon uh, our own Yojimbo and hope and pray that we are able to get a Zamato off of him. Or a Zanmato as I guess it was changed in the international version. I just never used it all that much so I didn't really realize it. And we're just kind of uh, mugging this guy, getting some stamina tonics and doing all that stuff just wait for him to go ahead and fill up our overdrive which this should be there it is and Titus did not gain any overdrive there because he was the first one hit and he was actually taken out by the attack so that's why he didn't charge any overdrive but because of that auto life he gets uh, picked right back up no problem and let's see how much HP do you have 141,000 uh, we should be able to kill you before you get a turn and this should actually do it right here There we go Now let's see what we get from him on this fight Dog why are you still there? So we get our two dark matters and we also get a pair of Kaiser knuckles which of course is going to be something for Riku, but let's go ahead and see what they do. Counter attack and break damage limit. Now if I can get that for Waka, that would be that would that would be workable. Uh, cause 
We don't necessarily need evade and counter, uh, but we should at the very least have counter attack. Uh, so I might actually go ahead and turn this into a weapon for Riku. Uh, just uh, another melee weapon for her. Uh, but if I can get this exact weapon for Waka, that would be great. Let's go ahead and heal on up. Uh, cure up. There we go. And moving on down to the next battle. Like I said before, if we continue on going this way, uh, we'll actually have the third battle here, but let's go ahead and head on down here. Uh, kind of breaking the loop a little bit and causing uh, us to, once we kill Yojimbo four times here, causing us to need to restart the little trials here, allowing us to farm Yojimbo for all of the uh, dark matter and various equipment that he drops for us. And because Yojimbo himself is not, like, not elementally inclined one way or the other, that's why all of the, the stuff that he drops uh, does not have uh, elemental affinity as well. Hey, I sold an elixir. Nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a, another Hyper Mighty Guard. And this is the way that you have to fight Dark Yojimbo, just basically, well, you don't have to, like I said before, you could just use um, Auto Life on, like, Waka or something like that, but this is the way I fight Yojimbo. This is the way I find it is most efficient to fight him. This is going to kill everybody. Well, not kill. I should not have said kill. I should have said raised up. I really need to get rid of those potions. Because I am not at max health right now, so that attack build is not going to do maximum damage, so let's go ahead and throw healing water. Get everybody maxed out, and let's go hit him with another attack build. Very nice, very nice. And mine. And mug him again. And you know what? I'll go ahead and show you guys the uh, the summoning anima tactic in the next fight. Well, not anima, the summoning Yojimbo tactic. And we're also alive again because we were at maximum health. And uh, the Hyper Mighty Guard uh, put us in Protect, which is very nice, even though we are already at an Auto Protect. And you know what? I want to make sure I overkill him, but with uh, Titus' health down that far, I don't know if I'll be able to do it with Titus. So let's go ahead and bring Kamari in, and let's just have Kamari mug him. Overkill. What did we get this time? We got a Raging Cactuar and two Dark Matter. Let's see, the Raging Cactuar. I actually think I made one of these. Oh, no, it's just Counter Attack. So, kind of useless. Go ahead and throw that away. But let's go ahead and heal up our party again. And let's go ahead and get uh, Yuna in here. And just head towards the exit. Uh, now, it is worth noting that by killing uh, Dark Yojimbo with your own Yojimbo doing a uh, Zanmato, you're not technically overkilling him, so you only get one of the one of the dark matter but it it is a way to actually kill him I personally find it a little cheap uh, but it is it is viable uh, just please when you are done farming uh, I ask now granted this you can do whatever you want in your own game 
you don't need to listen to me, but I ask that in your own game, when you are done farming, when you're actually killing Jar Dark Yojimbo to kill him off, um, I ask that you actually kill him off uh, the normal way instead of paying Yojimbo to do it for you. Really? I just paid you a million gil and you're not willing to... Uh... That wasn't... Alright. Let's pay you 10 million gil. Thank you. But anyway, when you're not farming him anymore, when you're actually going through and killing him for all of the Dark Aeons, I recommend you go through and kill him normally. Uh, it's going to be a lot cheaper for you, like guild-wise, and you'll feel more accomplished. Just a little personal feeling I got. And as you can see right there, he shakes his head, kind of shrugs his shoulders, like, yo, I don't know what you expected to happen, and then he kind of stumbles away. Uh, but we just finished our Dark Anima loop. Or just started it, technically. In order to begin it again, you need to run out of here, step on this little pad, and go back to the end of the tunnel. And uh, go ahead and start it all over again. Just do the four that I showed you. And farm until you have all the, the dark matter or all of the weapons that you want. But guys, that's going to be the end of this little video on customizing your weapons and armor. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, this is Family52 signing out. And peace out.